Hello and welcome to MM Design. My name is Maria and today I'm going to show you guys how to recreate some of the latest runway shows. If you're here for the first time, my name is Maria and I do fashion on YouTube. Today I'm going to be diving into a few fashion shows and trying to recreate the looks out of my closet, out of things I already have and I'm very excited about that. Today is actually my birthday day while I'm filming it so if you'd like to you know say happy birthday uh, I would love that maybe just click a like you know just for the hell of it <laughs> why do I do these kind of series is because I want to encourage you to first shop your own closet and then you know figure out what you're missing and buy it because usually we buy so many multiple things and we don't really realize it just by styling what you already have you can bring new life to your items so let's get started today we're covering Simon Rocha Sport Max and Zimmerman we have a sponsor for this video and it's a Lily Silk Lily Silk is where you can find all kinds of different quality silk items such as blouses pajamas pillowcases even bedding and so much more you will see a few shirts from lily silk in this video and you will just see how beautiful they are <laughs> when we're talking about luxury items we know that packaging is very important and i love lily silk's packaging it's a nice sturdy box you open it up tissue on there there's a little card the item is nicely packed i just love it just feels so glamorous <laughs> and because they're so awesome they're giving us a 15% discount coupon that will be listed down in the description box below Simon Rocha hopefully I'm pronouncing it right I usually don't so yeah if you just take a look at her style of fashion it's like those creepy dolls that you see not like a lolita but more like a little bit of a a newer version of that a little bit more current a little bit more edgy everything puffy everything oversized kind of trying to make the model looks smaller inside of those clothes and lots of layering lots of tool so let's just get started the first look that i was going for was this very light kind of it, it it's pink on here i don't think mine is going to be that pink but if we separate all of these items together so we see that there's really chunky light boots we have a button-up shirt with a the over dress is sheer uh, with some floral patterns so here is what i came up with i kind of just took those basic items like basic lego blocks and just paired it together so i do have kind of this sheer light colored dress with polka dots and this dusty rose pink shirt is actually from lily silk a kind of a peachy pink skirt underneath just to get that length and i took out my chunkiest white boots that i own and uh, here we go i think this look would be also great with a chunky sneaker like a really chunky sneaker so you can kind of see like my hair is in like little dutch braids and i belted it together just to give myself a little bit of shape i prefer to have it that's my own like kind of addition to it is uh, you know the belt Maybe it would be fun without the belt too, but I don't know. I prefer to have a waistline. My makeup is very kind of, I wouldn't say that it's doll-like, but it's very kind of pinkish and that kind of the same color scheme. Uh, a lot of pearls involved, so I do have some pearl earrings. I like this outfit. Maybe for like a photo shoot, would I wear this every day? No, it's totally not my style, but I do appreciate it. Okay, moving on to the next outfit. Very similar to the previous one. A little bit of a difference. So we have a button-up shirt um, on the outside. We have some very interesting floral things, which I couldn't recreate, honestly. But we have a tulle light-colored skirt. And once again, we have the combat boot that is a white in color. We have some pearl accents here and there. Here is a what I have done to get that look. I basically uh, kept almost my entire outfit, but I just put that white 
shirt on top kind of tucked in the skirts a little bit to give myself a little bit more um, like asymmetry like the reference photo had like a little diagonal moment they all I put a belt across just for some interest maybe it can be like a little bag that's on the side right just like a diagonal thing once again really cool outfit but not my style once again i have the combat boots that are in light in color the skirt i have a layered tool uh, kind of dress and then i topped it off with a white silk button-up shirt and this one is also from Lily Silk. <laughs> I just love how it how shiny it is. I have the same hair, the same makeup. Yes. Moving on to the next outfit, we are getting more into like the grungy side of this dollhouse appearance. Uh, this time we have uh, a leather like kind of like a biker jacket really cropped, very puffy skirt more like a tutu but in black a pair of tights and a pair of combat boots some layered things going on like there's like a white button-up shirt maybe like a black sweater underneath puffier sleeve on the jacket totally cool but here is what I had in my closet and I actually quite like it. I just put a white button-up shirt that I was wearing previously. I have a very voluminous skirt, not by because it's like tulle or anything. It's just like it's firm so it just kind of stays puffy. Biker jacket that fits very well. It's very fitted at the waistline. I barely closed it honestly. I usually wear it like open and I have a pair of tights that kind of matched the aesthetic and a pair of combat boots. I love this look. Very cool, very kind of grungy doll. A little like Lolita moment maybe in my opinion like that's how I would interpret Lolita trend. Once again the hair and makeup kind of just like do it. You know if it was just this outfit with a different kind of hair it you would not think of Simon Rocha at all. So I'm loving this look. It's kind of like my alter ego. I can see that happening, but it's not my style. <laughs> the next look is once again one over the darker look. If we take it apart a little bit, we see an oversized sweater with a harness, a little white color underneath of that. Once again, that puffy skirt. This time we have kind of almost to the knee socks with again the combat boots. Same hair, a little bag. Okay. Okay, so here I am. I borrowed my husband's sweater. Uh, that's why the sleeves are super long. Yeah, once again, previous skirt that I wore, the same one. It adds the volume, maybe not as much, but I quite like it. I decided to put my socks higher than my knee uh, just so I have less skin showing because the skirt isn't as long. I just prefer it when the, my sock ends at the knee because my calves are quite large. So if that line that visually abrupts at that stage, it makes my legs look really big and chunky, which I don't particularly like. Yeah, I have the harness going on over top. I have the white button-up shirt underneath, the same hair, a little bag that kind of matches the just black. Um, and I quite like this outfit as well. Once again, it's more like a schoolgirl, very much younger kind of a feeling than I am usually going for, but I still quite like it. The next look, once again, really dark. There is a white button-up shirt with a sheer black dress with some floral needlework uh, happening. Once again, a chunky kind of issue. I can't actually see what's going on with the shoes, honestly. Uh, is it like a slipper? I think I wore combat boots. Anyways, so I decided to take it a little bit darker and, set and change up my white button-up shirt. <laughs> so I decided to keep my socks, keep my combat boots on. I have the same skirt on. I just got my fake leather button-up shirt and put a black mesh dress over top of it with some floral at the top. I know I don't have exactly the same things, you guys, but you can totally see that this captures the feeling of the runway. This is maybe pushing it, but I feel like if, if those outfits appeared on the runway show along with the other ones, it wouldn't feel out of place. So yes, once again, same hair, same makeup, 
just different combination of things. This outfit is more like a fall outfit for me. I like it, but there's need to be some editing involved, maybe a harness just to get my waistline showing, you know, me and my waistline. <laughs> All right, so the next one is a full leather look. I think it's a dress with a pair of combat boots. Here is what I came up with, though that shirt with the puffy sleeves, faux leather, faux leather pleated skirt with the combat boot and a sock. This time I rolled it down just to have that little skin break between my skirt and the socks. I just felt like it was too much it being all continuous. But if you do want to appear taller, then having the least amount of visual breaks in your outfit is the way to go. So for instance, having just like a straight dress uh, is a great, or just having kind of one color scheme throughout the entire outfit. For me right here, it's monochromatic black, but I do have that skin break and it kind of like shortens me up a little bit. The other thing I could have done is roll the socks up instead and just, uh, it would be like wearing tights underneath and it will, would visually lengthen me up a little bit. So this is it for Simon Rocha. Let's move on to Sport Max. This is the first time I'm trying to, to remake, revamp from my own closet. I decided to try it out just because it seemed a little bit more like my style at the moment, a little bit more like current and fresh, just like modern, maybe modern. Yes, that's pretty much what the whole show was, very modern, maybe some like uh, monochromatic looks with wide pants, a little bit more trendier, I would say. Yeah, okay. So the first look from here is the all leather look and I try my best to kind of not copy exactly the same <laughs> as the previous one. So I decided to switch up the shirt for a strong shoulder jacket moment. That jacket had a very voluminous like uh, color, so I tucked it in to the best of my ability. I put on very tall boots, just because on the reference photo you can't really see the skin break, so I just put my highest boots, have that pleated leather skirt. It's not the same, it's not the same as runway at all, but I love it. Like, I would definitely go out like this, especially with that those amazing shoulders that are really hitting it hard. This few past seasons, I am loving this outfit. It is a really cool. Maybe I would do something different with my hair, uh, but a little black purse maybe here and there. Anyways, let's uh, move on to the next outfit. I uh, love this. As soon as I saw that coat, I was like, oh, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Breaking up this outfit. We have really chunky platform boots. We have kind of a terracotta kind of skirt with a the same color top and this very warm colored coat over top. So I have this, I call it my Vinnie the Poop fur coat. <laughs> it's faux fur, it's very teddy bear like and it's the color of Winnie the Pooh. And I have similar similar set to the ones that I had, that the reference had, and I wore the white chunky platform shoes. I love it. The hair is kind of in a half bun. Oh my goodness. This is a, me on like a casual day, like maybe going to the grocery store. I feel like an upscaled millennial, more like an upgraded hipster style. Just very, very cool. Love it would wear it, definitely would wear it, like a hundred percent. All right, so the next outfit, oh my goodness, I love this too, so much. I feel like it has the same vibe as the, the previous outfit. The sunglasses are really cool, love it. So yeah, separating. So I feel like that's a either a skirt or like maybe a dress in silk. The same boots, chunky platform boot, we have Kind of a longer, I would say like it's a more of a safari kind of style shirt dress and a little bit of a turtleneck. I feel like I skipped the turtleneck. I think I didn't notice it at the time. And a little bag, not a little, a medium bag. So I don't have the type of glasses that they do, but I felt like these belong to there. And I, I button up my utility shirt with the pockets, built it up very nice, kept it open from my waist down so it 
created more volume a little bit at the bottom and I'm wearing my silk jumpsuit underneath with that platforms I wish the platforms were a little bit larger just because my pants are hitting the ground you guys I, I am loving them so I'm trying to take care of them and not get them ruined by wearing them with something shorter short of a heel or a platform. If you're enjoying this content so far, please consider to like this video and subscribe to this channel as this will push the algorithm to show my video to somebody else. Thank you. In this look, let's see, we have a kind of a knitted dress, maybe a crochet, I'm not sure. It's like, it's really like wide, wide knit, but very delicate knit too. So it's kind of see-through. We have panels of more like a thicker knit. Maybe they just substituted the thread and made it a, a little bit like thicker and not as transparent in like the areas that we needed to cover. And to balance it out, there is another strip at the bottom. Maybe to make it heavier also, just to make it like bouncy a little bit. We have a strappy shoe in black, nice long gloves, nice huge pair of sunglasses. Okay, I'm proud of this outfit that I recreated. I just have a straight kind of mesh dress. There's a secret at the back, which you'll see. <laughs> I put on my bathing suit, just like a little strip like this on to cover my bosom. And I've put on a pair of uh, really small, tiny shorts that I tend to wear maybe like underneath a dress or something. So it helps me with my chafing situation. Yeah, you just saw me. It's a mermaid at the back, yay. Huge sunglasses, the biggest ones that I had in black. And uh, since I don't have the black shoes, I kind of just went for a white pair instead that kind of had the same feeling, not massive, uh, stringy a little bit, and a pair of really long gloves. I love this outfit, mm, love it a lot. I just feel like it's so cool. If I didn't have the mermaid in the back, I would definitely wear it to maybe my birthday. <laughs> I love it. It's so cool. Maybe to a actually a poop part. Well, it's black and it's like with the gloves. I don't know. It's a little extra full for a pool party. Never mind. Okay, so the next outfit we see this kind of just a full on black dress, turtleneck long sleeves and we have some massive sunglasses we can't see the shoes very nice and interesting like color necklace so here is what i came up with i have this beautiful beautiful black dress that kind of the same situation maybe the neck isn't as high um and it has really op large open back that's the only thing so i have of this um, kind of a bracelet that can be also worn as like a chain that takes up any shape you put on it like into it so I just wrapped it around my neck kind of tried to tie it as best as I could at the back wearing the same shoes just because you know they they're okay in this I would go for a black shoe in the same style but I don't have one like that I only have like a pointy toe and it didn't feel like a pointy toe look to me once again wearing the same glasses the hair you guys the hair is the thing that you can like make whatever you want with it right so it's really easy to copy a runway show if you like it just try it out so I quite like this I, it's kind of like a sleek back moment I can't do it right now because my hair is super clean and it's not gonna stay that way but if your hair is like a few days old <laughs> from washing and it's a little greasy you can just add some mousse in there and just do this kind of a sleek moment and uh, that's great I love it this one is pretty cool on the runway I had a really difficult time trying to recreate it at home because it's so many layers and it's it's August you guys it's August and it's super hot okay so to separate this out we see a blazer we see a really long a sleeved white button-up shirt with a red turtleneck underneath some funky sunglasses um, I think it's a skirt just that goes down a like a wrap type I'm not sure is it it's like a pipe or is, do you wrap it around and a white pair of shoes here's what i came up with it it looks it looks pretty good it looks pretty good but uh from the back not so not so much i kept the same dress for the long skirt kept the same the same shoes i cropped a thrifted blazer i have this kind of a tight dress 
that I kind of wrapped around my waistline. It's not so clean at the back just because there's like sleeves and other things that are kind of bulking it up at the back. So I wouldn't wear this outfit in real life. Maybe for just a photo shoot, just like to have, you know, straight up. I borrowed my husband's white button up shirt, so his sleeve really long. My husband's six foot eight, so yeah everything I wear of his is gigantic on me. And I'm wearing a turtleneck underneath and a pair of rounded sunglasses. I love this look on here, not in real life. Too hot, um, a little bit too too modern for like my surroundings. If my that outfit did work and it was very easy to like just wear it, I would maybe wear it to like gallery opening or fashion show. So the next outfit is not the, my proudest outfit out of the video at all. I just thought, oh, I totally have these items in my closet. A pair of gray pants, a, a, like a gray turtleneck, and a chunkier boot. Okay. <laughs> yes, I do have those items, but they don't look the same. Uh, so I'm wearing turtleneck sweater with thrifted pants that I had to resize myself. They're not as long as I would love to the, for them to be. They're part of like a suit, so maybe that's why the thick platform shoes that are, you already seen in this video a few times already. Yeah, it's just too simple, too plain, like it's too minimalistic for me. But the only, the only great thing about this outfit is that this turtleneck is actually cashmere. That is from Lily Silk, and it is so soft, although it's August and I'm wearing a turtleneck. I don't feel like I'm wearing a turtleneck here. It's very soft, very nice, and just the right amount of temperature. All right, let's move on to the final show, and let's talk about Zimmerman. Zimmerman has very feminine, very flowy, very, like, movement influenced dresses lots of little details the colors for this show were very like fall like with a few pinks in there i do like it i feel like it's the um, the fashion that my husband would like me to wear more often like more girly the first outfit i'm trying to recreate here you can see a suit in a really bright pattern just a plaid but like red and pink well, burgundy we have a button-up shirt with a it may be a sweater or it may be a vest i'm not sure but it's another bright pattern that is kind of monochromatic with the rest and we have a patent leather boot and some uh sunglasses which are star shaped i'm not a fan of those but okay let's move on to what i have created so I have this suit it's not the pants aren't as long or voluminous but it does the job okay so I'm having this plaid suit and it's red black and white not quite pink I decided to put on a panel leather red heel instead of a boot I just don't have a colored boot like that I have a black one but I felt like it needed a pop of red in there I'm wearing a nice round big sunglasses and once again in this outfit I'm wearing the lily silk button-up shirt i love it it just feels nice and cozy next to my body <laughs> a t-shirt like a really really loud print t-shirt like it says twerk on it everywhere and it's like miley at the back with like you remember the the, the time where miley cyrus was like doing all the faces like uh, 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 uh. you know the mouth and the tongue like uh. yeah uh, anyways, so all those cutouts of her mouth all over. I feel like it does the job of kind of copying the outfit a little bit from the runways. I do like it. I would 100% wear it. 100%. And yes, I am going to wear it once it gets a little bit cooler. Right now it's like, oh, it's, it's really hot. <laughs> and I'm like wearing a blazer too. Okay. I really like it. It's really like fall colors. It's kind of like a mustardy color, very puffy, light skirt, a little coat in plaid, a little turtleneck, and we have once again that boot in a patent leather. I don't really have the same 
colors and everything. But here is what happened. I do have a poncho uh, that I felt like it had like the same kind of shape as the, the coat in question. I have a dress that is really puffy. So I just put a turtleneck of that mustardy color just to bring that color back into the color scheme. So I feel like it's very fall-like still. I have a pair of like nude patent leather boots and I love it. I am going to wear this for sure somewhere, for sure. Once again, I put a belt on just to put that accent onto my waistline. I love it. It's so cute. It's like more like a feminine version of what I wear. It's fun to switch up your style. I want to see myself more in this kind of outfits, but I love those kind of outfits too. So don't, don't be discouraged to try something else out of your safe zone, out of your style. It's, it's sometimes a little bit difficult to understand your style if you have too many things that you're going for. That's the, the only reason why I sometimes encourage to like stick to one it's just because it's easier. But if you want to try something new, do it. Maybe it's going to be your new style. Maybe you will somehow intertwine the two together and have really unique outfits out of that. So you do you, you try. If you like it, wear it. All right, so for the last outfit of this video for Zimmerman and for the entire video, we have this nice voluminous dress with a kind of a knee-high boot and a pair of sunglasses. Very simple. I guess the silhouette of it, that was I was trying to go for. And here is what I came up with. So I'm wearing the same dress that I wore in the previous one that I used for like a skirt. It's very voluminous, very flowy. Love it for any season. In summer, it's very cool because like there's lots of air and lots of movement. And fall, the color scheme is perfect for it. Uh, so like just wear it with maybe a pair of tights or maybe a coat on top. I'm wearing very chunky kind of a knee-high boot that, that I think this is the only knee-high boot that actually fits my calf. I have these boots since I was in high school. I wore them to high school, you guys. I feel like this trend is coming back now, like more of like a chunkier boot. If we take a look at the clog trend, so we see that chunkier heel coming back in, chunkier shoe in general for a high heel. I feel like it belongs there. Also a pair of sunglasses. Yeah, it's very nice, very light, very casual outfit that I would definitely wear. All right, you guys, so this completes my video for today. Hopefully you guys liked it. Sign off in the comments below which outfit you liked better. If you guys try to recreate something by yourself and post it on social media, make sure to tag me. My Instagram is a link down below and I would love to see you guys' outfits. It's, it's very cool when you see somebody else trying to do the same thing as you do. It's kind of like, it brings you together. <laughs> Once again, it's my birthday. <laughs> so, so if you haven't, please leave a comment down below or maybe just a like. It just, just maybe, yeah, that's my little wish for this video to be a little bit more popular than the other ones. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lisa, for sponsoring this video. Once again, you can get a discount if you use the coupon that's listed down below. Thank you very much for watching it to the end. I hope you guys have an incredible day, incredible the rest of the summer. And yeah, stay classy. Bye.